Today's episode is about honing your kitchen knives. <coughs> As you can see in the background there, I've got all my fixings for my stew, so stay tuned for that too. Here we go. I got a good course stone here. I got to put an edge on those uh, chef's knife because uh, one of the girls here was uh, cutting on the big piece of stone from the oven and got a rounded blade on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an edge on it first of all. Put a little bit of oil on that stone. Now I'm going to do the same with this knife too. It's best to get an edge on it first. Kind of go in rotation, go down in a rotation, and then go back up in a rotation. Make sure you get the tip of the knife because that's the most important part where you're doing all the heavy cutting. And I'll do the same thing with my parry knife. That's a good parry knife. It's uh, I'm not going to plug anybody. Just get a little edge on this one too. Oh yeah, we got the edges. Now all we have to do is give a wipe. Take all the heavy grit off. And I'm going to turn this over. This is my finer blade. Drop a little oil on there. Go right up the tip first. Hold it at a 85 degree angle here and do the rotating thing. Don't forget to do your tip. Because the tip is the most important part and the heel. Let me give this a wipe and I'm going to check it. Yeah, that's got a pretty good edge on it. I'm going to take the small owner after and I'm going to bring it to a fine tune. check it out. Yep, we got a good edge on that one. Now I'll run another little bead of oil down here. Don't forget to do the tip. Tip is very important. Give this a little wipe and check her out. No, I'm not happy with that. Might as well do my pocket knife too while I'm at it. This can be a little time consuming, but it's worth it when you start working with your tools. If you got your tools sharp, you're all set to go. If your tools aren't sharp, you've got nowhere to go. Mm. 
Yeah, this will take a minute. This knife is usually sharp, but I've been putzing around, cutting wire and everything else with it. And uh, it's lost its edge. But it's good now. Okay, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to show you guys. You take the small stone and I just give it that final pass. This is a little oil on it. This will bring the edge up a little bit. Give her a little white. Check it out. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Can't ask for anything better. Just like it came out of the factory. I'm going to put a little bit of oil back on that stone. And I'm going to do a couple final passes here with this one. It's important to have sharp knives. Give her away. Test her out. Very good. Very, very, very good. Okay, now we. I hope this doesn't go to Tasho and then he want to give me a web, a web redemption. Probably end up cutting my finger or something. Give this puppy a wipe. And we're all good to go. Give this a couple turns. Okay, we're back in business. That's it. That's how to hone your chef knives and keep them sharp all the time for when you start to cook. You don't get frustrated that you can't cut a tomato with your chef knife. That's the end of this episode.